Greetings, welcome to the Amethyst Forest, and I am here today to teach you how to use the title command. So it's really not that hard, and it can produce a lot of good results. So let's try slash title. And then you want to choose who's receiving the actual title to themselves. So let's say at all. This is going to make it so everyone sees this. Now, if you wanted to do it only people who are really close to you, almost like you're yelling, you can put some regular bracket. Whoa, hold on. You can put some regular brackets here and then inside put R equals 10. Now only people within 10 blocks of me are gonna get this. And then the next thing you want is to either put where you wanna put the title or to do something to it. So let's say I want to do it as the title, which will put it right on the middle of the page. And I say title. Now I just type what I want to say. So meow rules. Boom, meow rules, see? I mean, it's obvious now, isn't it? Now that's not the only place you can put it. So if you replace title with subtitle, wait. Hmm. Well, that doesn't work for me. I'm not sure why that doesn't work. We'll have to figure it out. But if you use action bar, then it puts it down there. If you want to put something bigger or something that doesn't get in the way. So a lot of the times I'm going to run a command that'll do this if I have an announcement. So that's really the best use for it. So let me show you that. So all you need to do is empty out your inventory a little. Now, all I have to need is a command block. So let me get a command block. Boom, there, whoops, I just threw my command block. Okay, we're in the command room, that's fine, that works. All right, so we got a command block. If you put into this command block, title at all, and let's do action bar, then I can say something like, Drop your crystal to return to spawn. And then I'm going to set this to repeat, unconditional, always active, and I'll delay it in ticks by like two, just so it doesn't lag. Now look, now it will always say that down there. If you want it to clear after a certain time, then here's what you do. Because this is why they have that clear command in there, and it's actually kind of useful. So make a chain, unconditional, always active, delay and ticks zero. And then what we're gonna put is title. Hold on. Yeah. So we'll put title at all clear. Let me just make sure that's gonna work. Yeah, there's nothing else to put there. So that's gonna clear my title out. So let's make this one happen every 100 seconds. And then I only want it to last two seconds. So we'll delay this by 40. There, now this should fade away and come back after a few seconds. Cool, right? That's really good to know. So if you wanted it to only happen like a long time, just every once in a while, you could put like 10,000 ticks there. Now it's gonna say that and it's gonna go away after a couple seconds and it won't come back for 10,000 ticks. So now you know how to use title and there's really not much else to do with it. You, you can create lots of action bars and things like that and I'll show you that in a more advanced video. The, um, the times you can do a more easier setup so you won't need two blocks. It, it's really not necessary for this. And yeah, let me just show you how serious this command can get. So here's my title raw command. And, and title raw is a bit different, but it does some amazing stuff. And you could do it with title if you were more, um, well, if you're using Java. Now let me show you the kinds of things this can do. Where's my title? There it is. All right. So if I go over here and click this, 
you can see in my action bar, now I have this cool little thing, and that's gonna actually be able to reveal a ton of information to you. So make sure to check out my title raw video, and make sure to like and subscribe, and come to the realm, and bring me sandwiches, and join the Patreon, give me lots of money. Lots and lots and lots of money. Okay, see you next time.